make sure that anybody here obeys our laws. That you obey our laws and that you pay our taxes and that you learn our language. Congressman Larson says to immigrant workers, obey our laws, speak our language, and pay our taxes. But immigrants do pay taxes, and they pay these taxes for services they will never get. They pay $8 billion in Social Security they will never see. Why? Because American citizens routinely rent out their Social Security numbers to undocumented immigrants. Whose language should they speak? Navajo? Italian? Yiddish? What does Larson mean to do to those who don't speak English? Imprison them? Round them up and deport them? Whose laws? I didn't write these laws. Did you? Who decided that you lose your rights when you cross over an invisible line? These are the laws of the past. These laws don't belong in a society where people are treated equally as human beings. Want to hear about some other people who refuse to obey the laws of this country? Who fail to respect the values this country was based on? Rosa Parks, Frederick Douglass, Harriet Tubman, Martin Luther King Jr., John Brown, Ella Baker, Fannie Lou Hammer, and Stokely Carmichael, just to name a few. They were called criminals in their time. They were hunted by the government, imprisoned, reviled, and even murdered. Ann Brickley and Congressman Larson demand that immigrants obey, quote, our laws, as if everyone moving here to work could cross the border legally if they wanted to. But no one wants to come here illegally. No one. First off, it's extremely dangerous. People die crossing the border by the hundreds, and then they lose many of their rights when they get here. If they could come legally, they would be more than happy to. But there's only about one visa available for every ten people moving here. And the Republicans, the Democrats, set it up this way. Their corporate backers want more workers with fewer rights. And the last thing they want is for immigrant workers and native workers to get together to demand health care, living wages, affordable education, and jobs. No, they want us divided. That's why they harass immigrants. That's why Larson is stirring up all this hatred. Our campaign calls for amnesty, citizenship, and equal rights for all immigrant workers and students regardless of immigration status. Socialist Action says, end the ICE raids, e-verify, and all attacks on immigrant workers and students. No to the guest worker program, and no to the militarization of the border. An injury to one is an injury to all. I'm Chris Hutchinson, and I approve this message.